Hi everybody, this is Cheryl. Um, I want to talk to you about making a spice kit. Now, um, there's lots of ways of doing a spice kit. I'm going to show you a few, but let's get started on how to package your spices. Now, multiple ways. One of the ways that I do it is using straws. Now, in this package, you're going to find a bunch of different size straws. Now, what I have in here, this is actually pepper, regular pepper. Right there is one teaspoon of pepper, okay? Now, you can make these in any size that you want. Um, you can make them small. You can make them big. It depends on how much pepper you want to put in it. There's a half a teaspoon. Now, you can do this with salt, pepper, uh, cinnamon, um, oregano, whatever seasoning you want to put in your spice kit. Okay? And um, you can also do this for your uh, beverages you know like coffee cream sugar brown sugar whatever you need to put in your kit to season your food okay uh, or to season your drinks now there's multiple ways of doing this one is the straws now the straws I use is these are uh, smoothie straws there's a hundred of them in here i get these a dollar general for a dollar okay um the other one that i use is milkshake straws now you only get 24 for a dollar but you know that you get a lot of straw uh, for your money for a dollar so uh, milkshake straws and smoothie straws now your other option is to use glass bottles like this or plastic bottles like this now you can go on Amazon and just type in these are actually uh, essential oil bottles uh, you can type in essential oil or mini bottle or anything like that and they'll they'll come up and they don't cost all that much uh, but you can get you can get the either the glass bottle with a screw on lid um, and you can use those or you can use these little plastic ones with a pop on lid now I don't care for these number one I don't know if these are food safe so I'm a little hesitant about using those also because it's a pop on lid I don't care for those uh, now these are the screw on lids now, I'm still searching for the right size bottle that I need. Now, I also bought on Amazon these Altoid-type tins. Now, I've done a video on these little bottles and these tins, um, and I'll put a link so you can go watch that video. But these, I actually find these to be better than the Altoid tins. Um, mainly because they sit flat. Um, the lid of this is thicker than um, an Altoids tin, um, and I like that. Uh, but anyway, you can watch that video. The problem with using these bottles is that these bottles, you can only fit three of them in here, and you can't fit a fourth one in there. Now, you can put a plastic one in there but again I don't I have not found where these are food safe um, now for the plastic bottles you can fit six or seven in there de depending on how you arrange them um, but I don't I don't find those as convenient now you can also fit your straws in there um, now that's just some ideas now, I showed you before the pouch I had made using these 
plastic bags and you can buy these in the craft department or at a craft store uh, you can get them different sizes I got the bigger ones to hold more uh, spices but you just simply put whatever ingredient in your straws now um, I don't have a straw available but simply I do have ones I've started here now you take your straw and you cut it to whatever length you want it and then I use you can use needle nose nose pliers these are jewelers uh, used for making jewelry uh, but you just simply clamp it like this and then using a lighter holding it tight using a lighter and just melt the end then you pour in whatever seasoning you want okay now I have a little system I use I actually made this out of some sturdy paper and it fits right down in that straw just perfectly I just pour that in there and I measure it uh, whether it's a half a teaspoon quarter teaspoon you know one teaspoon whatever and you just funnel that in there and then make sure that it's packed in now I pour it in there and then I take my pliers and I tap it and then I'll tap it down in there then you just simply take this clamp it like this so that it's good and tight and melt that with your lighter and it's sealed okay very simple to do um, and I will sit down and I will uh, do a bunch up at once you know I'll do like I'll sit down and do a whole bunch of salt and pepper or, or whatever uh, whatever seasonings now um, here are some of my seasonings now for these these bigger ones like this one here a teaspoon of salt that would actually be used for like a recipe you know if you uh, are going to make a recipe and you're out camping right there is your one teaspoon of salt that you need for a recipe you know um, you can have a half a teaspoon if you are making a recipe and it calls for a half teaspoon right there's your half teaspoon of salt you know or a quarter, quarter of a teaspoon I like to carry the quarter teaspoon ones in my uh, EDC so if I'm out and about and I need extra salt um, right there we go I've got my salt right there and to use these you just simply use your knife or whatever you want to use and just cut that open and use it and let's say that you have the half a teaspoon one and you only use half of it okay you use whatever you want and if you are like me you're going to have your uh, leatherman or your, you know your multi-tool or whatever you just clamp that shut and if if you are a uh, true everyday carry person you're going to have something that you can clamp it shut with and you're going to have a big lighter on you seal it back up and you you're going to not use the whole thing, but you're going to be able to save it for the next time that you need it. So, um, I have salt and pepper and cinnamon and coffee made up right now. I haven't been able to uh, make up any others yet. Um, I am going to do that. And one other thing I want to show you is tea bags. Um, now, I buy the generic tea bags, the tagless, like this okay all I do is shake them down like this I fold it in half like this fold it in half like this and then I wrap foil around it so you have a packet like this okay very easy to do you got two tea bags right there and uh, they're nice and wrapped up in foil um, so that's how I do my tea bags and then of course your coffee you can do it the same way make sure you write on your straw what you've put in there and don't hesitate to put whatever seasonings you want uh, if you want hot sauce you can actually put hot sauce in these straws do it the same way seal up one end pour in however much you want 
seal up the other end. It's, your hot sauce is ready to go. You've got a little tiny tube of it, you know. So, um, you know, whatever dry seasonings, wet seasonings, whatever you need, you know, package them up. And you can use your bags, you can use your Alto tins, you can use whatever pouches you want. All right, so that will, uh, should cover it for uh, seasoning packets. You can put your seasoning packets in your EDC, your bug out bag, your cook kit, your storm bag, whatever you need to carry uh, extra seasonings in. Uh, I will touch on seasoning packets more in future videos when I do my cook kit, when I do my uh, uh, some of my other bag videos. Uh, I will talk about that uh, later. Sorry, they're kicking the <laughs> bench. Um, but uh, I just wanted you to be aware of what a spa spice kit is. It's a seasoning kit. It's for seasoning whatever it is you're cooking or, you know, eating or whatever. Okay? All right. Uh, one other thing. Don't forget to add some matches. Yeah. Extra matches never hurt anything. All right, y'all have a nice day. Bye.